have a look here. What I can do is I can actually populate a list in place by writing something like this. I can say x squared for x in range 10. Now you need to have some kind of for loop structure. In this case, I'm just looping through the range 10. And then whatever I have on the left hand side here is the expression that I want to evaluate for every single iteration of this for loop. Now what this does is it generates a list of squares for me, but we can get even more complex. Notice here that I've actually added an if statement. So I can now have some kind of condition and I will only use this value X if this condition is true. So if X mod two, so if it's even uh, is equal to true, then we're going to take X and then you can see that we get all of our evens. Now we can do the same thing with a nested for loop structure. So I can say for sublist in nested for item in sublist, and then I can take that item and I can grab or flatten a nested list by using this list comprehension. Same thing with something like the Cartesian product. I can actually take multiple values here uh, for X in range three, for y in ABC. Okay, you get the idea. 